As promised, the long-awaited tools, tips, tricks, and tools, and tips, and tools, and tricks video is uh, now here, and it has arrived. Um, you're watching it right now. So, let's let's get on with this, shall we? Throughout this video, I'll be showing you different tips, tricks, and tools that you can use as far as conlangs go. Um, hopefully, this will be helpful to you and help you in your conlanging adventure. I've also asked the Amino if they can help me out with this video making it also a community video uh, and they they delivered they've given a few a few different things and if if I mention something that I thought of but someone also mentioned in the amino I will also credit them of course so let's let's get into this firstly just a few tips these are kind of just generic things, just some advice, you know. Firstly, uh, don't don't start with the vocabulary right away. Probably not a good idea, as you've probably learned throughout the series that I've made. I didn't start with vocabulary, really, until one of the later, if not last, episodes. Um, I don't remember exactly. This is because grammar is important, and you also need to create the phonetic inventory, and your uh, your syllabic structure. So that's good. Uh, also, if something goes wrong with the language, if something keeps going wrong, you don't know to f you don't know how to fix it. Don't be discouraged about it. Conlangs are an art, and that you don't really have to be right the first time. It's got to keep putting things down and trying. And if you can't really think about it, just give it a break. I often find that breaks help me think about things and help me come up with ideas. Another great thing is to sketch and brainstorm ideas, whether this be on paper or this be on a like flowchart program on your computer or whatever it be. It's great to just get the ideas on the paper because then they're there, you can remember them, you can use them. And if you don't like them, well, don't use them. Another, another part is starting with phonology. Uh, I, have, I obviously made that the first part of my series with good reason. It actually helps you making the rest of the language because then you can create all your verb conjugations and your your prefixes and suffixes and infixes for different parts of the language. It's just easy that way, you're just getting it out of the way. And finally, with most things there's no there's no real right or wrong, just make it to your vision. So if you can't decide between two sounds, there's no there's no real right thing to do just think you can either you can either flip a coin or you can i mean make a vote for it and see what's the best sound or whatever you want just try things out i guess now onto the fun part the tools so the first tool that i have is quite a simple one uh it's google docs uh google docs is basically word online and made by google and it's great for making things like this, which is just a document of all the history and grammar and everything. This is also made to help learn the language that I made throughout the series. But everything is in here. I've got all my stuff here. I'll change that, that's old. There we go, all fixed. But as you can see here, I've pretty much got everything here from tenses and all your syntax and everything. It's all great to just write it down and get it presented. I often put my languages either in here or in a paper notepad it's just great it's just great to have it laid out and quite neat my second tool is uh google sheets which is excel but um and google as well and i just put all my grammar in here because as you can see here I've got lots of words i've got a hundred we've got a hundred words in this page here and i've got more here and um basically it's quite easy because if you want a specific word like smell I saw that there you go you can actually use it just clear your selection find smell smell I can't spell choose smell okay and it will sort it and you've got your whole thing here it's just great and easy to use often people use Google Docs for this however I just think that Google Sheets is easier next we have the IPA chart which I've actually promoted in a few of my videos this will help you learn or find any sounds that you might need or just decide sounds, play, mess around, whatever, if you need it. I'm also going to say now that any 
website that I mentioned in this video. The links will be in the description. Next is Wikipedia. Uh, it might seem a bit, you know, generic, but obviously everything's, but everything's here. Like, you've got the history of German, for example. You've got geographic distribution. Uh, yeah, there's lots of different information. This is only just about the history, but down here, you've got your articles. You've got all sorts of different stuff. So if you have a language that you want to find any information about, it's pretty much guaranteed to be on Wikipedia. Next, Wiktionary. I believe this is by the same people as Wikipedia. But if you want to find a certain um, word and the etymology and pronunciation in IPA, you can use this. So for example, let's look up the word classic. And here you can see it comes up. We've got the English and if there's any other languages, you'll also get that option. Here, the, et the etymology comes in the French classique and the Latin classicals, and you can see all of this. The IPA uh, transcription is here, and you've got loads of different definitions. This was also suggested by Magnus, who is one of the leaders of the Conlang Amino, and he said, when making a posterior language, or a language based off of natural languages, you can use this to find the etymology of the words. Which is great, I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, but I struggle pronouncing certain words. Posteriori, posteriori, I don't know. Actually, let's find it. There we go. Developed uh, here, we can find the linguistics definition here. It's a develop. It's developed on a basis of a lang of languages that already exists. My br brain's not working. But you can see all the stuff here. And all the information, obviously you've got this word also in Czech. It's also, you see all the words here, German also has that, apparently. But here, yeah. Sometimes you won't find things like pronunciation, of course, you can't find it here for this word. But most words will have it. Next, Volgerlang. If you're quite new to conlanging, or you just need a quick conlang or a base, you can use this. So it will just randomly generate a language. Generates the sounds, the vowels, of course, syllable structure, cases, and everything. It will just, it's its an excellent tool. It's not super great for if you're going to customize things, because I believe most of the customization you have to pay for. But for some simple things and just a quick conlang or a basis, here you go. It's right here. Next we have different templates, so here I've got my own one that I've made, I made a while ago so there's going to be some things, but you can basically use this for all sorts of different things, so it's pretty good for doing all sorts of things, it's got all sorts of different examples here just to help you start things off, got a lot of different things to do, dictionary template, so if you're a beginner to a language or just don't really know how to note it down, you can use this, I'll leave the link to this in the description as well, just make a copy of it and use it to your uh, needs. Next is Con Workshop. This was suggested by Just Your Local Eddie, and he said that it's really useful because it has grammar tables, customizable dictionary entries, customizable phonetic charts, forums, blog posts, guides and prompts, language family cladograms, dialects, support for fonts for conscripts, script keyboard, example converter, customizable phone tactics rules, and other things. Uh, thank you for that suggestion. Actually, it's uh, actually I didn't I didn't think of this myself, um, but I do know that it is actually a, an amazing place to do things. Uh, it's actually very useful. Got a lot of things, and yeah, you can find all sorts of stuff here. I suggest you give it a go. Next up is Amino. You can see uh, here I've actually got it on my PC at least. Um, I do have it on my phone, of course. That's me. I meant to use it, but here. See, I've uh, posted a lot. Of, we've got a lot of posts here. But yes, we have a lot of posts. We've got a lot, a lot of activity, um, decent amount. You see, it's fifteen and a half currently. <laughs> nice, Mina. You know. um, but yeah, you can see here we've got a lot of posts, a lot of things to do, and you can just ask for questions and help out. We've got challenges such as Aurora's challenge here, uh, which is great. We're doing AC colors currently. Aurora posts challenges every every week and every month, uh, and it's just, you know, it's great fun. I suggest you join, link will be in the description.
Also, Aurora, who's another leader, says that they will make a Google Docs tutorial and post it to their channel. So, the link to the channel will be in the description and when it's up. So, if you subscribe and turn on notifications for them, you'll know when it's uploaded. And the final suggestion comes from Dinyaranza, who says, Subscribe to Jack for learning how to conlang well. Which, I agree, you should subscribe. When I started this, when I started my Minecraft Survival Series about two months ago, I was on about 60, maybe end of near 70 subscribers and now I'm on 120 we've about doubled that thanks to you guys uh, if you're watching excellent I need to update my channel banner though because that's cringe that was from ages ago you that was from ages and ages ago but yeah um, of course subscribe it's great I'm being a sellout again aren't I <laughs> but yeah if you're if you are subscribed, thank you. If you're not, thank you for at least watching this video until this point. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope these tips will help you out. Obviously, again, the links to the websites will be in the description. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Bye, 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 bye.